Hey guys, my name is Sergio Novoa. Yes, I'm really excited to be here tonight. I actually got my hair done. Do you guys like it? Yeah. It's called Mr. Clean Cheek. If you're Latino, you can call me Don Limpio. Or Fabuloso. You know what's scary about doing stand-up? The risk of seeing one of your exes in the audience? I don't mind running into my exes with my car. <laughs> Which is why I was fired by Lyft. Yeah. And strangely hired by Uber. Now, this is my very first time performing here. Yes, thank you. If this is anything like the night I lost my virginity, this might be a bit awkward and uncomfortable. But I will try my best not to finish early. And I promise to keep my eyes open this time. I know you guys are looking at me and you're wondering, is he, is he not? You're not quite sure what side of the fence I'm on. Your suspicions are correct. I'm an immigrant. And I'm here to take your jobs. Porque en este país hay un montón de hijos de puta que no quieren trabajar. In English, it means I'm really happy to be here. In case you're wondering, I am not part of MS-13. I was born in Central America. Yes. Not Ohio. I was born in Costa Rica. Or Nicaragua. It depends on who you ask. Yeah, my mom says I was born in Costa Rica, but my birth certificate says I was born in Nicaragua, which confirms my suspicions. I don't think my mom was there when I was born. I mean, I can understand her getting the wrong date, but the wrong country. I found this out in the third grade. Most third graders are playing with Legos. I was writing to Dora the Explorer. Maybe she knows where I'm from. I didn't find out my actual birthday until the fourth grade. I was born February 14th. Oh, some of you figured it out, same day as Jimmy Hoffa. You know, speaking of my birthday, this year my mom called me three times. First voicemail, is it your birthday today? If so, happy birthday. Second voicemail, I think today's your birthday. If so, happy birthday. Third voicemail, happy belated birthday. This confirms it. My mom was not there when I was born. Now my mom gave birth to six children that she can remember. And she is proof, you can drink and do drugs during pregnancy. It all turned out okay, you guys. I was born a healthy baby boy. I weighed nine and a half pounds at birth. Yeah, turns out I was just bloated. <laughs> From all the margaritas. On a positive note, my mom never left me alone in a car on a hot summer day, because she did not own a car. She left me on the bus. <laughs> When I was 14, my mom put me on a Greyhound bus from LA to San Francisco all by myself. Yeah, picture me at 14 wearing this exact outfit. <laughs> now when I got to the US, I had to take ESL classes, English as a second language, not to be confused with DSL. It's been there. You know, dick sucking lips. <laughs> Although, although having DSL gets you a ton of extra credit in ESL. Let's just say I based all my classes. Uh, Latino men don't get any credit for boosting the economy with our cologne purchases. You can smell a Latino from a block away. And you can smell him for two blocks after he left. We love cologne so much, we have a saying in Spanish, por si me besa, por si me abraza, por si se pasa. Translation, in case we kiss, in case we hug, in case we go too far. We always go too far. I have enough cousins for two baseball teams. And I have 17 nieces and nephews and eight great nephews. I am the only one in my family without children. I don't want to worry about the baby weight. So I have my tubes tied. Look, we immigrate to this country because we want a better life. We just want to work. Give us a job and we will do it. We'll even do the jobs you don't want to do. Hand jobs. <laughs> Blow jobs. 
Now with all these great jobs available, you can imagine my parents' disappointment when I came out to them as a comic. <laughs> you know, once people find out I'm a comic, they want me to tell jokes all the time. I'm not a gumball machine, you guys. You can't just put a quarter in me and I tell jokes. However, I will accept $20 bills or sex as payment. By the way, no woman has taken me up on this offer. Yeah, women need to feel safe before they have sex with you, which is why I only have sex with men. <laughs> Technically, I'm taking a break from straight men right now. <laughs> they get a little too attached. Yeah, once they taste this home cooking, they don't want to eat out. <laughs> and the internal struggle is tough on them. They're worried, they might be gay. They're all emotional if I don't call them the day after. By comparison, gay men have it so easy. Eye contact is followed up with a blowjob. <laughs> Little jobs are a polite way to say, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. You shake hands and rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Now I have dated both men and women, and it is safe to say that women can have sex with whomever they want. We men have sex with whatever we can. <laughs> You know, surprisingly enough, once I had sex with a man, I understood women so much more, and I became very popular with women. So because of this, I will help every straight man in this audience be more popular with women. I will have sex with each of you. <laughs> Don't worry, just because you enjoy sex with a man does not mean you're gay. Also, just because you have sex with a man does not mean you're gonna enjoy it. Just ask most women. <laughs> now, I am single right now, and I finally signed up for online dating. I'm a little late, but there are so many options. You have Match, OkCupid, okay the Sex Offender Registry. <laughs> if you're gay, you have Grindr, Scruff, Christian Mingle. <laughs> That's how we met. Are you, are you guys a couple? Oh, you're a couple. You know, last time I got cousins. <laughs> Primos? <laughs> no. You know, last time I did a show, there was a couple sitting in the front, and at the end of the night, they asked me to go home with them. Sweet. Before you ask me to go home with you tonight. <laughs> two rules, two rules. One, I'm a sure thing. Uh, two, my safe words are keep going. I'll come in, I'll show you some tricks. You'll really like my tricks, by the way. <laughs> Lucky I'm not wearing any rings. Um, I recently ran into my high school girlfriend. First words out of her mouth. Is it my fault you're gay? And I was like, no, you turned me gay. Your brother did. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you are questioning your sexuality, I will be hosting a one-on-one -on -one workshop in the backseat of my car. You already signed up. You already signed up. The car is not gonna go. <laughs> and he can take two at a time. Very talented. He's willing to do the jobs I won't do. Um, all that being said, I am dating a 25-year-old straight white guy. Yeah, or as he refers to work, two bros hanging out. <laughs> I met a master of comedy show. He came up to me and said, you have a very charming stage presence as I left his apartment the next morning. <laughs> but he also called me a daddy. Turns out I have paternal instincts. <laughs> I looked him gently in the face and I said, please don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> having flashbacks, having flashbacks. <laughs> By the way, no gag reflex right here. No <laughs> gag reflex. Those tonsils were removed in junior high. Only drawback, he has a bad back, so he has to do a doggy style. All right, you guys, my name is Sergio. Thank you so much.